This is Jedi Knight Liha Naraz. Please identify. Master Tall Braga sent me to help you. I already received word of your success on Balmora. Glad you're here. As if Hoth wasn't hostile enough, I'm contending with the Empire and White Maw pirates of all things. What could pirates and Imperials possibly want here? Hoth's one of the largest starship graveyards in the galaxy. During the war, there was a massive battle in orbit. Dozens of vessels crashed to the surface. Because of the freezing cold, they remained well preserved. Some are almost intact. Our objective's in that starship graveyard, isn't it? One of the crash vessels contained a full technical readout of the Emperor's fortress. A map of the bad guy's house. Nice. One of the Empire's top scientists during the war upgraded the fortress's defenses. He was the only non-Sith to ever see the inside. The technical readouts were lost when the scientists crashed here. His shipwreck has never been found. We're not going to just dig in the snow and hope for the best, are we? No. Your job is to clear the way once I know where we're going. Those technical readouts are critical to infiltrating the Emperor's fortress. We will not fail. <laughs> I'm headed for the main Republic base. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet me there. Liha Nerez out. Sorry I couldn't meet you. We've got a full-scale Imperial invasion on our hands. They caught us by surprise. How bad is it out there? Have you been injured? Don't worry about me. But we've taken hundreds of casualties since the attacks began. I'm defending a forward outpost. But our support team is pinned down closer to you. I'm sending the coordinates now. You're looking for a detachment from the 301st Infantry led by Sergeant Rusk. His squad is being overrun by Imperial probe droids. I'll find your friends. A few probe droids shouldn't pose much of a threat. These droids are set to rush targets and explode when they get close enough. Saw things like that on Belmora. They can make a real mess. Sergeant Rusk has vital information we need. I'm counting on you to keep him and his men alive. May the Force be with you. Leha Nerez sent me. Looks like I got here just in time. No worries, Master Jedi. I was prepared to hold this position indefinitely. Sergeant Fiddleton Rusk, 301st Infantry. My squad's at your service. There's no more squad. We're all that's left. We're a squad until I say otherwise, Private. Now on your feet. Your man's in need of a Kulto tank. For starters, he's got third-degree burns and shrapnel wounds. He can hold a rifle. That's all the mission requires. Our objective was to secure Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. Target achieved. Imperial counterattackers pursued us here. Squad fatalities, 66.4%. Enemy fatalities, 100%. Hang on. I'm picking up a fresh wave of probe droids outside. They're headed this way. The sergeant and I will handle this. Keep your head down. No loafing. You see a shot, take it. Yes, sir. Here they come! Enemy fatalities, 100%. You can come out now, Private. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank this Jedi for doing your job, soldier. Sergeant, evacuate your man to a medical facility. These are the Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. Leha Nerez wants to see them. I'll return to base and reconstitute my squad. We'll meet you at our coordinates ASAP. Stay sharp out there. This is General Callan Green, Republic High Command. I just arrived in orbit above Hoth. Quite a mess down there. I'm told you commandeered some men from the 301st Infantry for your classified operation. The Imperial Offensive left us in bad shape. They've been scratching your back. Now we need a favor. The Jedi are always willing and ready to assist you. Scout teams detected several Imperial weapon platforms under construction in the ice fields near our base. If the enemy sets artillery that close, they can shoot down our shuttles. I need you to destroy those weapon platforms. Now. I'll move out immediately. Where am I going? You're receiving coordinates to the Imperial weapon platforms now. Good luck. General Green out. Scouts report the Imperial artillery teams are retreating. Nice work. I have a feeling I'll need you again before this is over. Hope you're planning to stick around. If I can be of further assistance, don't hesitate to contact me. Glad to hear it. General Grain out. I have the Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. I understand Sergeant Rust's squad paid dearly for these. Meaty One, please analyze the maps. 
find any profile that matches a Pythar class Imperial shuttlecraft. The Medes are pleased to meet you. They're great fans of yours. Hello there, my little friends. I prefer admirers with a pulse myself. Ever since I built the Medes, I've been teaching them Jedi history, philosophy, everything. Someday, the Medes will prove that even droids can use the Force. If a droid became Force-sensitive, that would be extraordinary. The Council doesn't believe me, but I think it's already happened more than once. Throughout history, certain droids have achieved well beyond their design limitations. I believe the Force is the answer. Droids who go long enough without memory wipes develop personality. Couldn't they develop more than that? I think you're onto something, Leah. You're the first member of our order to admit the potential. Even Master Braga is skeptical. You found something? Let me see. Hmm. The Empire recently discovered a crash site matching the scientist vessel. Imperial forces are excavating the wreck at an ice cavern nearby. We need to move fast, and we'll need reinforcements. Tell our backup he needs to pull that new squad together yesterday. I'll contact Sergeant Rusk and inform him of the situation. You and I will hit the enemy from two directions. I'll enter the cavern at these coordinates. You go in at this entrance. We'll meet in the middle. Don't worry, Meaty. The Force is with us. I'll see you at the cavern. Impatience got the better of me. I blundered in here like a Padawan. The heavy turrets were an unpleasant surprise. You know how many patients I've treated for heavy turret wounds? Zero. You're one in a billion, lady. You were surrendering, Jedi. I suggest you keep that promise. Give us a moment, please. I need to explain the situation to my friend. You've been shot. Is it bad? I'll survive. For now. Turns out, the Imperial in the Hollow is more interested in capturing than killing us. Keep him talking. Trust me. My patience is at an end. Lay down your weapons or my men will destroy you. Those uniforms. You people aren't standard Imperial military. I am a member of the Emperor's personal guard, as are the men under my command. The soldiers you face are specially trained to kill Jedi, and they outnumber you. Not anymore, Imperial scum. They tricked us. Kill everyone! Got here as soon as we could. Had to engage some Imperial patrols in our way, but nothing serious. Nothing serious? Privates Vanth and Edder don't know what day it is. We're lucky to all be alive. Shut it down, Private. I don't tolerate insubordination. All of you, please listen. I know you've been through a lot. I understand your frustration. But a good Jedi, a good soldier, puts emotions aside to do what's necessary. To say the fate of the galaxy depends on us is no exaggeration. We must hold together. You should run for the Senate. Let's honor this Jedi by giving our all. This is the scientist's vessel. And look what I found hiding under a dead Imperial officer. The rest of your unit is dead, Imperial. Start talking, or you'll join them. Please, I don't know anything. I'm just a computer tech. We won't hurt you, but the more you help us, the more we can help you. When I said I didn't know anything, uh, uh, that wasn't completely true. My job was to slice the data banks of this old starship, but the White Moor beat us to them. They lifted the whole network. The pirates stole the ship's data banks? They took everything valuable, but they missed the computer decryption file. They can't read the data banks without this. I'll be taking that. The White Maw maintains a depot inside a crashed dreadnought. Everything they loot goes there. At least our objective is clear. The pirates secure their depot with ray shields. We'll have to find some way past them to reach those data banks. The Medes scouted White Maw territory. They located two reactors buried beneath the ice. They're no doubt powering the ray shields. If we destroy the reactors, we can enter the pirate depot. Sergeant Russ. Head for these coordinates and destroy the reactor there. My friend will destroy the one at these coordinates. 
If your squad runs into trouble, contact me. Likewise, Master Jedi. I'll escort our prisoner to the Republic outpost near the Starship Graveyard. The Medes will perform reconnaissance on the Dreadnought. When both pirate reactors are destroyed, meet me at the outpost and we'll plan our assault. May the Force be with us. Hope this isn't a bad time, Master Jedi. We took out the other reactor, but General Grain just alerted me to a secondary objective. The White Maul has a series of munitions dumps here. Scouts report those weapons are headed for the Dreadnought. General Grain believes the pirates are reinforcing. He ordered me to hit those munitions dumps. Thought you might want to join in. I don't want the enemy well armed when we assault that Dreadnought. Transmitting coordinates to you now. If you can hit at least half, my men will handle the rest. We'll rendezvous with you at the outpost when this mission's complete. Sergeant Rusk out. A Jedi? Never killed one of your kind before. That reminds me. I should buy some armor. This should be interesting. You want to give me all your weapons and abandon this facility? <laughs> you got a strange sense of humor. Hey, what are you idiots doing? Get back here! Stupid house. Don't know what you did, but I'm not leaving. White Maw bosses kill deserters. The Gendai got no regard for life, not even their own. Of course, it's easy for them. They're indestructible. All living things die. Not Gendai. The bosses can take anything. You'd see for yourself. If you wasn't about to get killed, you got backup. I don't. Means I won't have to go easy on you. The Medes report the pirates' ray shields are down. Our goal is within reach. Any sign of Sergeant Rusk or his men? I expected them back by now. I'm sure they'll arrive shortly. If not, we do this without them. I'm not certain that's possible. If the Medes' scouting data is accurate... Master Jedi, destroying the pirates' weapon depots took longer than expected, but the mission was a complete success. Squad strength remains at 100%. He's got you to thank for that. We had to go it alone? <laughs> Always happy to lend a hand, Private. This is a full scan of the Dreadnought. The technical readouts are currently under minimal guard. Unfortunately, that area lies directly between two large forces. White Maw Pirates and Imperial Strike Teams. Which side has the advantage? The Pirates or the Imperials? They're at a stalemate. The Imperials have superior heavy weapons, but the Pirates are unnaturally resilient. Scans indicate the Pirate leaders are an alien species known as Gendai. Virtually impossible to kill. Sounds like a challenge. I will secure the technical readouts if you and Sergeant Russ keep those forces occupied. Which enemy would you prefer to face? I'll be fine either way. How can we minimize casualties to your squad, Sergeant? The pirates lack discipline. They'll panic under pressure, make mistakes. That leaves the Imperials for you. Perhaps you can learn more about the Emperor's personal guard. Here are the coordinates to intercept the enemy forces. Once you engage them, I'll retrieve the technical readouts. Be careful facing the Imperials, my friend. May the Force be with us. I hoped you would come. Our prior meeting terminated unsatisfactorily. Surrender, and you will be treated well. Resist, and, well, you know the rest. Why take me alive? What does the Emperor want? Even if I could answer you, I wouldn't. I serve my master's will. Not much of a conversationalist, is he? I gave you a fair chance, and you refused it. Men, kill this Jedi. I did it. I secured the technical readouts of the Emperor's Fortress. They contained schematics of its entire defense grid. Between this and the cloaking device prototype you recovered on Balmora, we have everything we need to capture the Emperor. Heard anything from Rusk? How did his squad make out? The sergeant is alive. The rest of his squad? I'm not sure. Meet me at the main Republic base. We had no rise out. It's a wonder all your men survived such an enemy. How did you defeat the Gendai? Superior tactics, and a dozen thermal detonators. If that Gendai is still alive, I guarantee it wishes it wasn't. We couldn't have done this without you and your men. 
Your service has been exemplary, Sergeant. You and your men brought the Republic a great victory. The heroes of Hoth. I finally get to meet you in person. General Grain, been a while. Hard to believe you and I started in the same squad. Still a ground pounder, huh? Wouldn't have it any other way. It's honest work, sir. After what he did here, he's earned a higher rank. The sergeant's happy where he is. But I do have a reward in mind. The 88th Armor Battalion is on its way. The 301st Infantry is being rotated back to Coruscant. I can't waste a soldier like Rusk on shore leave, so I'm assigning him to you. For how long, sir? Until the Sith Empire is defeated. The sergeant has served us well. We'll gladly take him. The transfer is effective immediately. Good luck. My shuttle is small. There's hardly enough room for myself and the Medes. Perhaps Sergeant Russ should travel with you. Be honored to. Look forward to learning from a superior warrior. Excellent. I will deliver these technical readouts to Master Braga. You should contact him as well. May the Force be with you, my friends. I'll requisition my gear and meet you at your ship. Grab a bunk and make yourself at home. As ordered, Master Jedi. Master Braga, Leha Nerez is on her way with the technical readouts to the Emperor's Fortress. I knew you two would be unstoppable together. I look forward to working with her again. Your successes on Hoth and Balmora have been nothing short of extraordinary. Our plan to capture the Emperor is already taking shape. Come back to Typhon, my friend. We'll discuss the particulars here. Master Braga out. Welcome back, friend. We've made astounding progress thanks to you. Analysis of the Hoth data has laid bare the entire defense grid of the Emperor's Fortress. There are weaknesses we can exploit. Even better, we understand how the cloaking device protects the fortress. We've just jury-rigged a scanner that sees through it. At last, the Emperor is within our reach. This is the beginning of the end for the Sith Empire. We'll be the dawn that breaks the night. Our vessels are being prepped for the journey to Droman Kaas. Long-range scanners will receive upgrades to detect the Emperor's fortress. We'll pilot our individual starships to land in different docking bays. Multiple targets will divide the enemy's defenses. Once we're inside the fortress, we'll each follow an assigned path through the security grid. We'll converge on the Emperor's throne room. We'll capture the Sith leader, bring him to Typhon, and redeem him to the light side of the Force. A perfect victory. Redeeming the Emperor? You're nothing if not ambitious, Master Braga. Defeating the Sith through violence accomplishes nothing. We must embrace them as our own. It is the key to a lasting peace that will save countless lives. Master Braga, we must speak before this plan goes any further. There are those among us who have raised... concerns. If anyone doubts our ability to do this, let them object. I'm sure we can dispel their doubts. I've always considered your plan reckless, Master Braga. Now your former team member comes to me with a disturbing vision you chose to ignore. Jomar. We discuss this. You should be in the Kolto Baths. You still haven't recovered from your attack on Tatooine. It was during my healing meditations that I saw a vision of this Jedi. She was falling to the dark side, becoming a Sith. Tell us exactly what you saw happening. It might help me avoid such a terrible outcome. You stood on the red sands of Korriban, the center of Sith power. Your eyes were burning coals. I saw you torturing your own crew. They screamed for mercy, but your heart was cold. Alien. Sith. The future is forever in motion. Events that appear certain today are impossible tomorrow. Must I remind the Council that the Jedi do not pass judgments based solely on visions? If you take her on this mission, it will fail. I should go instead. If Master Satil and the others agree with you, I'll step aside. I've known this Jedi since she was Master Orgus's Padawan. She has saved lives across the galaxy. I do not doubt her loyalty. Jomar, Master Caden, I appreciate your concerns, but I do not share them. 
I see no reason to delay Master Braga's mission. Thank you, Master Satil. And you, Master Coix. No thanks are needed. With the Force as guide, I simply follow my conscience. Nothing more. No, this is wrong. I know what I saw. Master Braga, I demand you reconsider. There's too much at stake here. The time for debates is over. The hour of our victory approaches. My friends, we depart for the Emperor's Fortress at once. We'll coordinate our assault once we're all inside. May the Force be with us. I've docked inside the Emperor's Fortress. No sign of opposition. I'm in as well. Perhaps we caught the Emperor napping. I took some cannon fire getting in, but my shields held up. The Medes detect enemy forces converging on my hangar. <sighs> Looks like I drew the short straw. Everyone disembark. Follow your routes to the objective. No surrender, no retreat. Remember the Fallen, and do not fail them. I'll see you in the throne room. May the Force protect us all. Master Bugger, out. I can feel him. He's waiting. He'd be laughing if he still knew how. Who's laughing? I don't hear anything. The Emperor isn't afraid. He's just quiet. Still. All he feels is... cold rage. The Sith believe hatred makes them strong, but that's a lie. It's a weakness. We don't understand what he is, what he can do. We shouldn't have come. This is a trap. The Emperor has no power over us if we stick together. Face your fear. I won't let him take me. Never again. <laughs> violate the Emperor's Sanctum. There is only one punishment. Lay down your weapons. I'm taking both of you in. There will be no mercies here. Your friends did not survive. You fight alone. Maybe you didn't see me. Right here. Name's Doc. By my master's command, you must die. You are the Jedi's finest. It is not enough to save you. I'm not trying to kill you. Believe it or not, I'm here to help. You'd be surprised what I'd believe. Surrender, Sith. You and your master cannot stand against all of us. Thank the Force. He told me you were all dead. Have faith, my friend. The Force is a powerful ally. The Emperor's reign ends today. Misdirected passion. Such a waste. My friends and I wish to speak with you. Please accompany us to Tython. An infantile display, Tol Braga. Reckless pride, limbed by self-righteousness. You are master of nothing. You can insult us all you want from your cell, but you are coming with us. You stand there because I allow it. Because I do not fear.
him win. Free yourself. You're stronger than his influence. Fight. Master Orcus, what happened? The Emperor clouded your mind in darkness. Made you do terrible things. You've been the Emperor's pawn a long time. But you're finally free. The Emperor overpowered us. Master Braga, the others, we all fell. After that, nothing. You were not yourself. What you did in the time of darkness is not your fault. You're still aboard the Emperor's fortress. The enemy is everywhere, but they think you serve them. Keep your true nature secret. Find a way out. Your dark ally will help. I have a friend here. Can't wait to meet him. The Force is with you again. Be strong. Stop muttering to yourself, Acolyte. Today we test your ability to extract information from the enemy. Knowledge is power. Our enemies possess the secrets to their own annihilation. We must learn everything. I'm ready for my lesson. Please instruct me. One of the scum you arrived with awaits interrogation. You'll conduct it while I watch. Which particular bit of scum are you referring to? I came here with several. The Jedi girl. I understand she used to be one of us. Follow me. I'll instruct you in using the tormented device. I look forward to it. After you. Let's begin. It's a simple device. Three inducement settings, each inflicting greater pain on the subject. The tormentor monitors the subject's vital signs, stopping just short of delivering lethal damage. Still quite agonizing, however. I know you're still in there. You're not one of them. If I beat him, you can too. Proceed with the lowest inducement setting. Get your subject focused. The Tormentor isn't functioning, Overseer. It needs repair. The Tormentor isn't functioning. It needs repair. Stay here while I sort this out. If the containment field fails, the subject may attempt to escape. I thought he'd never leave. You're free. Let's get going. Not to sound ungrateful, but it's about time. This place is crawling with Sith who don't know you're back to normal, but you won't fool them forever. We need to leave. Quick. T7 and the others are still in the docking bay, locked in cages. We can free everyone and take back the ship. We have to warn the Jedi Council about what's happened. One thing at a time. First, we need to get out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> Step away from my ship. We're leaving. If I wished to fight, I would not have freed your crew. Or killed these guards. <laughs> More guards will come. Shall we go before they arrive? Free Master Tall Braga and my fellow Jedi, and I'll consider it. If they were here, I'd have liberated them as well. I could have killed you on Quesh, had I wanted. Did you never wonder why I hesitated? I have waited over 300 years to see the face that came to me in a vision. Your face. What else did this vision of yours reveal? Many things. But only one that interests me. Only a few beings have ever broken the Emperor's domination. You and that girl are special. Kira and I have the power to destroy your master. Not yet. Not without my help. Though the Emperor seeks to conceal his true plans, I have seen them. That vision has driven me to this. I pledge my loyalty to you. Take me to your Jedi Council on Tython, and I'll reveal why. We're not actually considering this. I mean, he's obviously full of awful. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm with Doc. This is a trap. I seek to save this galaxy from annihilation. Without my help, your ship will never escape. I can guide you to freedom. If I'm taking you to the Jedi homeworld, you'll be under guard at all times. Don't try anything. Your flattery is pointless. 
I do not seek your people's deaths. Only their cooperation. Security won't be an issue. He twitches wrong, he's dead. Time is a luxury we no longer possess. We must go now. I will navigate us through the defense grid. It's been so long. We thought you were lost forever. The mission to seize the Emperor has failed. He's more powerful than we realized. Master Braga, Liha Norez, and Warren Sidoru are still missing. The Emperor's wrath helped us escape. He betrayed his master to join our side. Sith serve no one but themselves. I altered my loyalties to avert a threat to myself and you. Jedi are not alone in seeing the future. Centuries ago, I had a vision of the Emperor destroying the galaxy. Republic, Empire, everything gone. This Jedi has the power to stop him. I have good reason to believe he's telling the truth. The renewed war is merely a diversion to conceal the Emperor's designs. His true plans are already in motion across the galaxy. One by one, every star system will simply die. Trillions will perish. How does that benefit the Emperor? He'll feed on those deaths to become more powerful than all the Jedi and Sith combined. An immortal being of unlimited power. Are you the only Sith who learned the truth of his plans? If others have, they're dead. Or serving him without realizing the cost. A thousand years ago, the Emperor tricked an entire Sith world into aiding a dark ritual. He promised great power. Only for himself, of course. The ritual consumed every living thing on the planet. He absorbed those life essences through the Force. That explains how he's lived so long, and where all his power comes from. That was merely one world. Imagine what he'll become after consuming millions. The Emperor has manipulated events for centuries towards one goal. Performing an even greater ritual that will destroy this galaxy. But the ritual requires a great sacrifice to begin. Billions of simultaneous deaths. He seeks to commit genocide on Belsavis. That prison world holds the worst filth captured by the Republic. Mass murderers, tyrants, even captured Sith Lords. We've kept the planet's location secret for decades, if the Emperor has found it. Once a sacrifice occurs, the Emperor's ritual cannot be stopped. We must save Belsavis. We? Your role in this is over, Sith. Put away your weapon, Master Caden. The Sith is cooperating. They'll come with me. I know the Emperor's ways. Belsavis is not the only world in danger. We must find the others, and I cannot help you from a prison cell. Like it or not, we need each other. He's right. I can feel the truth. Without his help, we are all dead. The Council will concentrate on locating other worlds at risk, and finding our missing friends. I'm counting on you to stop the Emperor's plans. I know this has been hard for you to accept, but it's our best hope. I promise I won't fail. Contact me when you reach Belsavis, and don't rely too closely on your ally. I'm disrupting the fabled Jedi calm. I suggest we depart. <laughs>